this year at the Oscars, there's going to be one definite winner. Ranked choice voting. In 2009, after mass outcry that The Dark Knight, among other films, did not get into the Best Picture race, the Oscars decided to expand their list from five nominees to ten. This is really good news. Since 2009, we've seen a spread in what kind of movie actually gets nominated for Best Picture. More diverse voices, more nations, just a bigger consensus of where the movie industry actually stands. But of course, having 10 nominees, how does anyone pick one Best Picture? That's where ranked choice voting comes in. Every Academy voter ranks each 10 Best Picture nominees in order of their preference. 10, least favorite, one, number one preference. It actually encourages you to watch all 10 nominees because you want to be able to rank them. So if your number one doesn't get through, your number two preference can get that vote. This way, instead of just a couple members of the Academy's thousands of members choosing Best Picture, everyone gets a say, leading to cooler and more interesting picks for Best Picture since 2009. What if you could choose your politicians the exact same way? We can get into office politicians you're really excited about that actually reflect the consensus. It doesn't seem very likely that, you know, we'll get a politician as exciting as a Parasite Best Picture win, but it's exciting to have the option. How would you rank the nominees for Best Picture? Let us know in the comments below or go to the link here and try ranked choice voting yourself.